I noticed something today that fascinated me about the about the race. I want to step away from the arraignment for a second. Yeah. No Labels, our old friends at No Labels, mm -hmm. who are, are a, a pro-Republican super PAC, funded by Republican billionaires, funded by the same people who are funding Ron DeSantis, by the way. Correct. And, and I want to just make that assertion again. Nancy Jacobson's organization is funded by the same billionaires. No Labels is funded by the same billionaires funding Ron DeSantis. The same billionaires giving Ron DeSantis hundreds of millions of dollars are giving Nancy Mace millions and millions and millions, mm -hmm. or Nancy Mace, Nancy Jacobson and No Labels, millions and millions of dollars. Now, why is that important? Because today No Labels gave the game away. They came out and they said, well, if Trump's not the nominee and it's DeSantis, we'll step back and stop and stop campaigning. We won't campaign against Ron DeSantis. This is... An amazing, amazing, amazing tell. This is like their fifth excuse for why they're doing all this. Mm -hmm. And it tells you what you really need to know about no labels. The billionaire class of Republicans absolutely, passionately, desperately wants Ron DeSantis over Donald Trump. They'll get all the tax cuts and none of the criminality, okay? But the fact that no label sells itself to the press and to Washington, D.C. people and to and to donors all across the country, small donors especially, we're just centrists. We're moderates. We want people to get along and work together. Yeah, we, just want, we want to have bipartisan civility once again. Oh, you're going to support the noted centrist Ron DeSantis, right. the most anti-LGBT governor in the, in the United States of America, a, a governor who has spent months – months pissing on Walt Disney Company for imaginary horseshit while he will not condemn the growing tidal wave of Nazis, white supremacists, Klansmen, etc., who are marching publicly in the state of Florida every day now, who are out in the open every day mm -hmm. now. A guy who has been so petty and vindictive and turned the power of government so many times against his political opponents that it astounds the mind. A guy who has forced members of his administration to raise money for the campaign. Get that? Listen to that again. Of government officials are being forced to raise money for Ron DeSantis's campaign for president. The corruption, the venality, the extremism, that's no labels in a nutshell. They don't care. They are a Republican super PAC Nancy Jacobson is a Republican activist and operative. They're going to try to elect Donald Trump. And if, fails, if that fails, they'll elect Ron DeSantis. They don't care. They, they peeled back the layers today. You saw behind the curtain, and it is ugly. Mm -hmm. I'll have more to say about this, Tara, as you can yes. imagine. No, and well, it's important because No Labels has a lot of influence and a lot of people yes. were, you know, they, 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 they are very well funded. And this idea of a third party run, they're, they're preying on the, the appetite in this country for a third party because they're pissed off at both Democrats and Republicans. Right. So people, it sounds great, except that in practice, it's not practical right now the way our our election system is structured a third party will never never work in the near future a lot of things structurally have to change for that and given who they're supporting behind the scenes to your point what you just laid, laid out it helps donald trump and other extremists yep. like ron desantis it helps right. the republicans if it's, ron DeSantis, if it's ron desantis and your argument is that joe biden is an extremist and ron desantis isn't right that is the most mendacious, psychotic, bizarre assertion I think you could possibly make. And, and this is really comes down to the fact that Nancy Jacobson and Mark Penn, her husband, run no labels. It's a cash cow for them. They make a lot of money. They make enough money, by the way, so that they have a tunnel under their house to the house across the street from them that holds their collect million dollars of art. That's how much money they make. Yeah. And, well, you know. and these people, these people are willing to burn down America. But you know why? Because Hillary Clinton fired Mark Penn and Barack Obama refused right. to hire him. Right. That's what, that's what this whole psychodrama is about. But there's some, no labels is supporting Ron DeSantis. Clear as a bell. They said it on the record today. Yeah, they They'll did. They'll pull out of the race if Ron DeSantis is the, is the Republican nominee.
and I hope that people pick up on this because obviously it's getting lost in the tidal wave of news over the right. historic indictment of Donald Trump federally. It's a tremendously important story, it's folks. A huge story. I think I think that the Washington intelligentsia and the Beltway media will continue to pick up on this story because it's a juicy one, and it and and people like us and others that are in this fight that find what they're doing so mendacious that. Um, we're right. not going to let that go. Let's not forget that Ron DeSantis just passed a six-week abortion ban in Florida. Six right. weeks. So Democrats no, are okay. Moderate, moderates are okay moderate, with a six-week abortion moderate. ban. No, they're not. No, they're not. That is an extremist position. Even people who are Republicans are not comfortable with a six-week abortion ban. So let, you know, let's banning not kid books, ourselves. Banning books about Rosa Parks and Anne Frank. Exactly. Super moderate. Super right. moderate. Right up the middle. Right, right up the middle. Right. Defunding diversity and inclusion programs at right. historically black colleges and and public universities in 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 uh, Florida. That's great. <laughs> the but other night on the Tony Awards, on the Tony, Tony Awards, the other night, one of the uh, presenters called him the Grand Wizard of Florida. <laughs> it was great. It was great. 